right, take number three. Tried this video three times. I'm at uh, Louisiana Sportsman Show, more Dixon Expo Center, and I found African Custom Knife. Follow them on Instagram, and they're here. So I'm a kid in the candy store. Yes, look, and the candy. Here, and here, and here. Got some DDR pins. Nice, nice pins. Fisher Space pin refills. We got some really custom ones over here. And some nice custom African Maker folders. They surely know how to uh, make incredible actions. This one's smooth, like no friction, but it's not anywhere near these right here. They're through that. One more time, what, what's this one again? Peter Annandale. Peter Annandale. This is a Peter Annandale. Nice, smooth G10. Got your blue, got your blue um, liners, and very the finishing work is unbelievable. Nice decorative pivot, and yes, you gotta have a special tool. Super smooth, but these the ones the three-legged dolls right here. These folders are a pretty big folder. These are all African knife makers, three-legged dolls. Let's see, I'll show you on the back. Elmax, I'm not going to butcher that name. That's the guy's name, three-legged dog, 59 HRC. Wish everybody did that. Like Zellwerk said, start putting HRC on there so we know what we're dealing with. Look at this. I mean, these knives are stupid smooth. This one is not the smoothest out of the bunch, but look at that. I mean, guillotine smooth. There's absolutely no friction whatsoever when you're closing this knife. Like, oh, uh, I love it, love it. The Ergo's, Ergo's a really nice, uh, nice green, smooth, but blasted G10. <laughs> kind of sounds stupid. Um, nice hardware, decorative, but you can still use the Torx. I love that. It's a great touch. And this is more of a sharpening notch than a choil. One thing I'm not too big a fan of is the G10 pocket clip. It might be functional, look at that. It might be functional, but it, you can feel it when you squeeze down on a knife, and I don't like that big old tab sticking out. I'd probably have to cut that off, and I wouldn't want to do that on a $500 knife. So, the action though, oh, it's ridiculous. This one, not even the smoothest. Let's see, one of these, this is another of the three-legged dog design, harpoon design. Same pretty much everything except the blade shape, different, all of them are L-Max steel. But they're just, like, look at that. You know, I've never experienced a grid run from mode, but this one, I'm sure, would be, not this one, but the action on these have to be somewhere in that ballpark. I mean, they're just, like, move your finger out of the way, guillotine sharp. I mean, smooth. This one right here, I think, is the smoothest. Let's see, is this the one? They got a little bit of lock stick. No, this isn't the one. This one's smooth, but not the smoothest. I think it's this one right here. It's got black G10, blasted like the other ones, contrasted with green. I don't know how much fan. It's got the ball bearing uh, for the pocket clip. There you go. And that G10 pocket clip. Now, I do like the way he incorporated the lanyard hole into the knife. It's much nicer. Still uh, LMAX steel. There's a lockup. And well, I was wrong. <laughs> I'm making myself look like an idiot. Still, the action's super smooth. Um, they rock it out, but I mean, I mean, look at the action on this. I mean, this is just stupid smooth. And they feel like they have like some kind of grease in it. It's like smooth, but you can feel it. Look at that. I mean, move that finger out of the way because it's coming. Super smooth. This is probably my favorite out of the bunch. I love that blade shape. Nice sheep's point, sheep's foot, comfortable. I just don't like that. And the back clip, but I'm sure that can remedy. Uh, this right here, look at this beautiful handle scales. This is made by this guy, same guy. Got like a uh, uh, regular, you know, finish still left on the blade. All these knives are super thin behind the edge. I mean, like, they're like laser beams. 
super sharp. I, I love this. Who's this one again? That's a Willem Steen Camp. Yeah, Willem Steen Camp right here. You got your uh, polished, <laughs> polished flats, satin doubles. Super, super comfy. The burlap micarta, polished. And it's got red lines. Look at these. Look at this. This this is wow. Like that handle looks like an exotic piece of candy. <laughs> I just want to eat it. Black liners, so smooth. These are a set of steak knives by Bernard. Yeah, my camera's not 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 playing nice today. You got both the knives. Jim at nicest knives. Is this a nice knife? I definitely respect your opinion on the slip joint knives. Uh, this one's super lightweight. Uh, lock back. I mean, not lock back. Uh, slip joint. But this is kind of weird that it's the firework stops halfway. I don't know. I don't know if that's normal. But it just looks strange. Let's see if I can get the pin construction. It looks like a burl wood. Nice, super, super skinny edge. And we got this other Otha. Looks like Purple Heart or whatever it's called. Wood or blood, whatever you call blood wood. Super light, feels like. Feels like it's absolutely nothing in my hand. Beautiful. Very smooth yet. Still has enough friction to keep it open with your finger. Some nice big kitchen knives. Look at this, this is nice. Not gonna, not gonna check that out. Nice and polished, super nice. Some of those shoes look, look different. Now these, these look crazy. This is I've never seen anything like this. It's a neck knife. Let's pull this right here off. Look at that. It looks like some hills in Tennessee or something. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And then you got this one. It's another crazy, crazy one. It's got a nice uh, mosaic inlay pen here and here. Now this is more of a normal shape to the blade, but there we go with the Rockies again. You got your mosaic pin inlays and the blade. Now this is a beautiful handle right here. Starts out with a beautiful handle, carbon fiber, and then nice dim steel blade. Pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, the guy's not around to tell me, but look at that. It's super, super thin paper thin behind the edge. Ergonomics are okay on this one. I um, don't know. Let's see. There's the maker's mark. I can't get it. I don't have enough light. And Smith, Smith and Son knives. Local to me in Louisiana. I love their, their that black wash finish. It's just amazing. It's a great little small, you know, uh, everyday carry knife. This is one of my favorites of their designs now. Uh, it's made in D2 steel. I want to say it's called a Scout or something like that. But I would say this this one right here is really grippy in hands. This one more suited for gloves. This one more suited for bare hands. But look at that. Look at that black wash type finish. I don't know what they do to it. Maybe it's a, um, I don't know, black oxide, then tumbled. But their finishing works awesome got uh, hollowed out pins, brass pins, and I think they're all with these D2 steel at Smith and & Sons, and it doesn't say, I think they're all D2. This sucker is a beast right here. This is a bone chopping, stall crushing beast. Look how thick, looks like about a quarter inch thick, super comfy in hand, fills out the hand great. Different designs, got that black wash finish. And these, the mud bugs, right here. I have this one right here. It's the green canvas micarta, black and maroon. Those are made by GEC for Smith and Son. I don't know, you know, what they do. This, this one right here, this fixed blade. Oh, uh, it looks like it'd be heavy. This thing is super well balanced and super light, and I also want it. I don't, I don't want to spend that kind of money, but boy, that's so nice. I don't have that kind of money to spend. Look at that nice, it's MSG. 
handmade knives. Beautiful, beautiful, the sheath that go with it. Here's another beautiful one right here. This one's really heavy though, especially after you picking up that one. Look at that, look at that wood. Beautiful, I love that. Look at that, the hammered finish on that ring. Beautiful. Ooh, Smith says, 850 bucks. Ooh, nice sheath, but oh, I'll put it down now. This is another one. Now, this one's, you know, beautiful too, but you can actually see the hard lines in this knife. I'm not a big fan of that, but, you know, it's, it's beautiful. And it's 850. I'll put And we got some pocket butchers. I'm ready to use pocket butchers. So I have this one. And this one is just a. No, I think it's uh, black wood or whatever you call it. Uh, I'm not sure. These are really nice. Love that cliff point, trailing point style blade. I don't love it for $50 worth, but great feeling in hand. These, these handle scales were done very nice. Very nice. And they got a whole different line of them, and you got different uh, patterns on them. Come with that blue sheath right there. That one's really nice right here. This Bernard, what is it? There it is. I can't. I'm doing this by myself, so I can't get my, my camera to focus. This one is just <clears throat> unbelievable, man. Super thin behind the edge. Nice and skinny. I'll just give you all a quick shot of all those. Quick shot of all these. All these. And these are some pretty interesting neck knives right here. Very, very light. Just some thin, you know. Throw it in your back pocket, front pocket, you wouldn't even notice it's there. But they did some beautiful work on it. It'd be, the, the hand the hand grip's not the best. I mean, they're so small, you don't really get a good purchase. It's more for like a pinch grip knife, I had to say. I mean, look, they got band-aids because these things are oh, sharp. Look at that beautiful hand. And these, ah, oh, I want one of these. These look like Van Heerden blades, but I forgot who he told me these are. Somebody can tell me. In, Comments below if they know that makeup mark. It's carbon fiber, N690 blade steel, satin, bevels. Um, only thing I hate on this is look at that pocket clip. It looks like something off of a gas station knife. It definitely looks like an afterthought. I love how dark they did like a bronze, dark bronze uh, on the titanium. There's the lockup. And this is a front flipper, of course, South African makers. And it rockets out. Very smooth, very smooth. I like the action on that. This is another carbon fiber one. This one's a lot better looking, I think. It's got the blasted Batman bevels and the satin flats. Uh, super, super comfy in hand. And look, the fat man would like this. This tip down only, which that, that never bothered me. I don't, you know, whatever way it feels better in my hands, the way I carry it. Tip up, tip down, tip left, tip left, tip right. Oh, okay. It's just crazy. Look, this is a nice finish around. I like, look at that. That's got to be a T15 right there. That's a big old ball right there. Uh, they could have did a better job on the sharpening, the sharpening toil. It looks like they got a beard at the bottom of them. But super comfy knife. And this is a custom, custom knife. And it's 320. Another front flipper. Alright, and we can do it real quick. This is the friction folders. I like this one the most. I love that G10. I don't like the bead blast finish on the N690. Wish wish it wouldn't be like that. These are 150. Um, they got they come with a little zipper pouch. Nice size. This is a great low EDC size. Got enough friction and enough place, enough enough to put your hand right there, so you, you shouldn't close it on yourself. Uh, there you go. This is this is South African knives. Uh, thought I'd let y'all take a take a look at all the stuff they had at the table. Look for some more tea. There's the booth. They're out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Oh, there's a few more right here that I didn't show. 
Hey, what are, what's the story on these little ones? What are these? Chase. I know this is the Kiridashi. What are the what are, straight ones? What were you saying about these? Uh, he calls it his built on knife. And uh, in South Africa, they get their beef jerky in big chunks. Oh, yeah. And so then they hold it, they cut the piece off and eat it. And they call it the bolster That's knife. That's cool. It's like a utility workbench type knife. And then what, like are, what are these? These little neck knives? Who makes yeah, these? Yeah, little skull neckers. That's Neil's Vandenberg. <laughs> Those are super sharp and super skinny behind their head. You got some nice beads right here. I like that a lot. That's nice. Give me a bead. Look at this. That's yeah, I'll tell you what, that gentleman right there, woo, you better have a strong thumb or be able to be wearing some gloves. Because uh, that'll eat your finger alive. That one's beautiful right there. It's got the boot to forge finish. I like that hammer finish. And it's got some leather wrap on it. Fairly comfortable. Definitely wouldn't want to be doing a lot of work with this. It's a beautiful knife, no doubt. And I really like this. This is a nice... Like any size, especially with like this, got that super aggressive jumping right there. And I mean, it's definitely effective. It's a thumb, a thumb pair right there. But who, who makes these? It's also a Neil Vandenberg. Neil Vandenberg? Yeah, this guy right here on the uh, poster. Look, we got a picture of him on the poster. Vandenberg, South African knife maker. It's beautiful work. It's beautiful work. Me and Chase both have a Neil knife. Uh, I just noticed that. I noticed you got Crambit and you got which one is that? This is the D13. Ooh, that was pretty. Now I was just I was just commenting that jimping's uh, pretty it's aggressive. aggressive. Uh, it's, 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 it seems like it's, it's tailored toward gloves, but I mean, as long as you're not putting a lot of force down, I guess you'd be fine. This is one of the, the booth guys. That's what he's carrying today. They got some nice. Uh, Tomahawk. Ooh, that, that's that's nasty. That looks like ooh, super comfortable in hand. That's nice. Oh boy, look at that. That's a hammer. Woohoo! I would not want to get hit with that thing. You could do some damage. Wow. But hey, just tell them you're a carpenter. You're about to go build a house. Hey, I guess that'll work, huh? Look at this, this is a nice, nice little spike neck knife. It's a brute before it's finished still on it. Ooh, I like that uh, one-sided uh, file work looking like chisel grind blade. That's really comfortable, very comfortable with that leather handle. I didn't think it was gonna be that comfortable because it's small, but very, very comfortable. Ooh, just notice this little beauty. It's a nice little necker. Boot the forge. Comfortable in hand, especially for a neck knife. It doesn't have that super aggressive jimping, actually no jimping. Um, and yes, paper's down behind the edge. Very, very nice. Well, I'll wrap it up at that. Give y'all a quick pan over. Some nice karambits. Very nice karambit. Very comfortable in hand. And they also have the karambit style and the uh, Regular. Ooh, and that's super comfortable, but oh, that gym is not as bad as the rest. So that's super nice. All right, well, I'll wrap it up right there. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I'll see y'all soon.